Everything that you've asked us to do in the last two to three years to make this the best air conditioner possible, we've listened. Every year, getting better and better. Okay, uh, the actual uh, official name for this is NCX3 12V100A. And I have to be quite honest with you, that name sucks. Uh, we're just gonna call the, the thing X3. I couldn't be more excited. Okay, we have the brand new X3 by Nomadic Cooling out yes. here on the table. The first thing everybody wants to know is the size. It has actually gotten smaller. It is exactly 31 width by 31. And then the height on the thing is about seven and a half, maybe eight inches off the deck. Pretty, pretty small, 31, 31 by eight. Uh, so we've lost, I don't know, five to seven inches off the last version of the Nomadic Cooling 3000. Also inside the air conditioner is a brushless fan now. It's actually pulse width modulated, which means that it has the ability to scroll up and scroll down with a mm. lot more nuanced features. We have the same compressor as our tried and true Nomadic Cooling 3000. I will point out to you when it is shipped to you, it, uh, it is covered up in this thin plastic film. It's really easy to take this off. On the back, you will see that it has the uh, Nomadic Cooling logo and serial number on it. Once you get your air conditioner, you wanna go over to nomadiccooling.com and you wanna register it for the one year manufacturer's warranty. And if you'd like to add a second year warranty, you do have time to do that as well. We also use this number when you, uh, maybe if you have questions about your air conditioner, if you lose your remote and you need a new remote, we'll ask you from this number from time to time. We give you two feet, at least coming out of the air conditioner of two AWG, all the way into the compressor. We're actually gonna give you a quick connect. We don't actually put it on for you because some builders do still like to do the butt connector version of these. So you have the ability to cut this down to any length that you see fit. The other thing that you're going to see, a, a waterproof connector for your control panel. Now in the past, we didn't have this nice of a connector on here and we found that through, through over time, if the barbs weren't touching, you would actually have problems with the AC not running. So this has been upgraded. We're actually even giving you even longer length with it than we did in the past. Underneath the air conditioner, you're going to see another thermistor. This black wire goes on. It actually wraps around the evaporator on the inside. And if the evaporator starts to freeze, this will actually turn off your compressor to make sure that you don't freeze your AC if you're using it throughout the night in temperatures that are not that hot. The other thing I would really like to point out to you is this new mat right here that's been put on every single air conditioner. Before this was uh, just two strips. We put the mat on there to make sure that when you put your 14 by 14 gasket on this area that it lined up perfectly. You'll also see the brand new uh, control points right here, the four of them that are inlaid into the air conditioner base. These are gonna be within the 14 by 14 opening and you're going to use these to attach the air conditioner to the roof. I'm gonna slide this over here to the side for just a second. Grab the accessories box that comes with the AC to go over some of the stuff that's inside here and then we'll attach it to here so you can see how everything works. Let's take out the first thing. The Nomadic Cooling air conditioners all come with a 14 by 14 super high dense gasket. Zoom in on that right there. It's very difficult to squish this. Also in there is you're going to have two pieces of high density foam. This is designed so that you can put it at the rear of the air conditioner. We want to make sure that's perfectly horizontal above your vehicle. That way that the condensate drips out at the right place. And then inside we have auto glass adhesive. This stuff rocks, okay? A little bit goes a long way. There is a 120 amp inline breaker now that comes with the kit. You can use this if you're doing a Victron system with a Lynx distributor or a Lynx power in. As I mentioned, uh, the Nomadic Cooling X3 is now coming with a very high grade marine wire wiring harness. 
with a quick disconnect as well. You'll be able to get it in uh, 10 or 15 feet, but don't quote me on that. They may just pick to do one 15 foot for each AC, because I know this is not up on the, on the website yet. Now, you have one side, you have another side. The other side could go right in here into the air conditioner. Also inside, lugs, heat shrink, Loctite. Let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, let's start with the uh, the boring stuff first. It's got a remote control. I mean, it's just a cute little guy. Look at that little guy, Kenny. Got a bunch of zip ties for your wiring harness. Got a bunch of, uh, you know, things for zip ties so you can stick them to the wall. Four size eight threaded bolts right here. Stainless steel uh, screws for the, uh, the interior trim piece, more bolts more washers. So we've got all that. We have a nice little foam piece right here. Uh, this, I wish this was a little bit better foam, not gonna lie to you, but we're gonna work on that. You gotta start somewhere, Kenny. All right, now this is brand new uh, to Nomadic Cooling as well. This, this year, there's been a lot of talk uh, in the interwebs and in the chitty chat. So these are brand new. These were not on the Nomadic Cooling 2000s or 3000s. These are brand new for the X3. Uh, let me show you one second what our old ones look like. So this is what our old one looked like. And you can see it's a U. And the amount of phone calls we got that we received for if the U needs to be up like this, up towards the air conditioner, or if the U needs to be down, like this, uh, it was probably our second biggest phone call when customers got their air conditioner. First one being, where is my air conditioner? Thank you, shipping company. With this system, because this is brand new piece here, you won't actually have to call and ask which side goes up or down because there is no side. Everything you do goes right here. The holes are in the exact right place. Put it up there. We have a whole video on how tight how, is tight the word, Kenny? On how uh, on how much uh, torque? on how much torque <laughs> to use to keep this uh, to keep keep this attached. So pretty excited about our new crossbars. I think people are going to be pretty excited about those. Um, at least people that have already installed Nomadic air conditioners in the past. I think this is a vast improvement. All right, as we've seen here, this is the brand new uh, X3 interior vent trim piece, as we call it. The air comes in here, the air comes out here. This is our brand new control panel. Now this is actually available in white or black. You'll notice that on the inside, first thing we ever did was replace the control panel. This control panel, so much better than our old control panel. It has a brand new uh, waterproof connector that is better than the connector that we were using before. And this connects directly into the air conditioner. Next to that, you will see the thermistor. The Nomadic Cooling X3, smaller, quieter, and lighter than all nomadic cooling air conditioners in the past. Everything our builders have asked us for, everything they've suggested, every comment they've made, every little poke and prod, and hey, Johnny, have you thought of this? We put it in to the brand new nomadic cooling X3. I'm excited for it to get out to you. I'm excited for you to get out into the world. And if there's anything you need from nomadic cooling, don't hesitate to give us a call. Guys, if you wanna go further in comfort with the best DC powered rooftop air conditioner in the market, get yourself a brand new X3 today. Let's go further together.